Hey dolls, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Bridget and this is Be Authentic. On this channel, I mostly cover all things in and around fashion and sprinkle in a little lifestyle stuff here and there and what I do as an entrepreneur here in SoCal where I'm based out of. So, if you like the content here, please consider subscribing to the channel, helping us grow the community, giving me a big thumbs up so we can tell YouTube to send this video out to more women just like me and you, and hitting your notification bell so you never, ever, ever miss an upload. Okay, that sound like a good idea. If you've been coming back for a while and yet have not yet subscribed, oh well, my hair is a mess. It's time to go get it done. Um, if you've been coming for a while and still have not subscribed, baby girl, what you waiting on? This is not your grandmother's 55. It's all about us at this big, beautiful age at this point. So let's look fabulous and feel fabulous all at the same time while we're building each other up. I so greatly appreciate it. And for those of you who are my day ones, my ride or die, my I can't do without, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You know I love y'all. And there would be no me without you. If you guys good content, I do do a lot of research. I try to stay current on what's going on in every aspect of fashion, whether it be luxury goods or street style or fast fashion. I'm on it. I am on it. So, um, you know, that probably means absolutely nothing to all of you as long as I'm bringing you the content. But I do, I do want you guys to be as informed about what you're putting on your body and why you feel like you're putting it on your body and the feeling that you want to get from it when you do put it on your body. So, yes, I do all the leg work. You just come over here and sip on your wine or your beverage of choice and let me take care of the rest, okay? All right. So, um, today's video is another video in the same series that I've been doing, how to take something very casual and basic, something we pull for, pull for all the time out of our closet, something we wear the same way every time we wear it, we style it exactly the same because we know it works. So, I want to get you to be inspired to get out of your comfort zone a little bit. I challenged myself to do this because I find myself doing the same exact thing. I have a ton of clothes, right? And a lot of them never get worn because I wear the same things over and over again. And I pull for the same things every single time I need something for whatever occasion it is. Even if it's just to go grocery shopping or something. I pull for the same sweatsuit. I pull for I pull for the same exact things. So I challenge myself to do this series so that I can see how I can take some of those very casual pieces and elevate them into something very classy and classic and beautiful and well that are timeless really and that will make you feel amazing so in today's video i'm wearing this tube maxi denim dress i thought this was so freaking cute this denim maxi dress and comfortable it does have a little bit of stretch but not a lot not a lot, as you can see, she is hugging everything. If I were you, I would put on a body shaper. If I were wearing this, I should have put one on. But yes, I would put on a body shaper just to smooth everything out because she does hug everything so tightly that we don't want the lumps and the bumps. Um, but besides that, I paired her with a pair of Air Max Nikes. 
um, they're fun color. They're like a rust. Do you see them? The rust tan and black. It matches the stitching. The rust color matches the stitching along the side of my dress. And there's not a lot of the visible stitching because this is basically a hidden stitch. So I wanted to add a little bit color in there, but keep it within the fall color. So I added those Air Maxes and uh, I added just a simple um, denim uh, cropped jacket. And that's it. Like put a little jewelry on and some good sunnies and grab me a bag. I think for a bag I had uh, this cream top handle. Um, it's pebbled leather. I don't remember where I bought it. I've had it for a while, but it has a long crossbody strap. You can wear a crossbody if you like. I, I grabbed that because it matched the cream in my sneakers. So that is what I wore for the casual. Now, 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 now. Y'all know I love a little drama. Y'all know by now I love drama, especially in little touches in my clothes. Like if it's a puffy sleeve or if it's like um, something unique or different about it, that will most likely attract me to it. Well, I was perusing <laughs> Pinterest as usual, like I always do. And I came across this, this video where this woman had on this beautiful pinstripe blouse and a, a pair of uh, dress slacks, really, really wide leg dress slacks, but she had on a tie with it, a men's skinny tie. And it was tied, it wasn't tied like a regular tie. It was tied so it almost had a bow, like right here. And then it overlapped here, like it had a double knot here, and then the tie just hung. I don't know who tied that for, but I couldn't do it. I watched videos like 50 million times and I still couldn't get it right. So what you see on this picture is the best that I can do in terms of tying a tie anywhere close to that. But you see, I've added this Oxford shirt, this Oxford button up with the contrasting white collar and it has the same white contrast on the wrist the sleeve wrists and um it is a very heavy cotton that is and i put on a navy tie to go with it and tucked it all in and i put on these beautiful white croc embossed um boots that I forgot I had these boots. I bought these boots about three years ago and I was doing some cleaning out and I found this box and it was some, the boots were in there. So I thought this was a great opportunity to put on a white boot with a funky heel on it, give it even more razzle dazzle and some pizzazz and dress this thing up even more. I would wear that outfit anywhere. Dinner, brunch, lunch, out on a date, you name it, I would wear it. So that is the whole idea for doing this series is so that you get so inspired coming up with new ideas and new ways to wear clothing and wear what you love, wear what makes you feel great, but think outside the box a little bit and try and wear it in different ways. Sound off in the comments and let me know if you guys liked today's outfit and if you'd like to see me do more of these kinds of videos. 
And until next time, dolls, be beautiful and be authentic. Bye, babe.